Leveling the print bed correctly is one of the most important factors in getting really good quality prints. In this lesson, I will show you the best way to get perfect first layers that will guarantee better quality prints. This method is reliable, simple, and can be as thorough as you want. Let's jump right in. The first step is cleaning the print bed. For this, we could use rubbing alcohol. Now we will move on to rough leveling with a piece of paper. This will get you pretty close to a level bed, but I will show you a better way to experience true level. It is best to level the bed while the printer is hot, so we can get the most accurate results. In the description of this video, I've included a couple resources for you to download to help with the leveling process. The first is a G-code file. This will move the extruder to different points of the print bed, from the bottom left, to the top left, to the top right, and to the bottom right, to the center, and then back up to the top left, back to the top right, back to the bottom right, and finally, back to the original position. Once you have the G-code file downloaded, load it onto your SD card, and navigate to it on your printer. This will start the bed leveling process. While the printer is moving to its first position, we'll need to get a piece of paper ready. We will use the piece of paper to determine how close the nozzle is to the print bed and adjust the print bed accordingly. We want there to be a good amount of friction between the paper and the nozzle, as shown. Press continue to move the extruder to the next position. We will continue this process on all five points of the print bed. Continue adjusting the knobs to raise or lower each corner of the print bed. Leveling the bed with a piece of paper is fine for most situations, but if you really want to ensure perfect print quality, the next steps are extremely important. For fine tuning and to experience true level, you could download the following resources from my website, 3dprinteracademy.com. This is the file we will use to calibrate the print bed. Slice the calibration file with Cura. Be sure to use build plate adhesion, skirt, and preheat your printer. Now let's begin by printing the calibration file. It'll start with the skirt and it'll go around three times. This is where you could test the adhesion of the filament to the build plate. If it's not adhering, turn the knob and raise the bed. Continue to do these fine adjustments until it's adhering perfectly. When it has finished printing the skirt, feel free to remove the filament from the bed. Next, it'll print the squares with the text on all five points of the build plate. So far, it is coming out perfectly. You could also adjust the height of the build plate during this portion of the print. When it has finished printing the five squares, Take a look to see how the print quality came out. Now let's take a look at each square individually. The bottom left looks pretty good, however you can see there's some gaps between the letters. That corner could be raised slightly. The center looks pretty good. The top left looks perfect. The top right could probably be raised just slightly. 
the bottom right looks pretty close to perfect. Now let's look at some examples of incorrect bed leveling. Here are five different examples. The bottom left. When your print looks like this, very faded and scratchy, it means the bed is too high. The top left corner looks perfect. The center is just a tad too low. You can see some gaps between the lines. The bigger the gaps, the more you could see the bed is too low. When all five squares look like this, you know the bed is perfectly leveled. After going through this process to level the bed, I decided to print this cat toy, and it came out absolutely perfect. And the kitty loves it too. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you learned a lot, and I hope that your prints come out really nice like this cat toy, and please uh, give a like so it'll help the YouTube algorithm. This is my first video, so every little bit helps so I could produce um, more high quality videos like this, and hopefully um, the videos could get even higher quality. I'm working on um, making a lot more um, it's a ton of work though, so any help would be amazing. And happy printing!